Do you want happier, more engaged employees that won't just quit on you in six months? How is it that companies like Netflix, Meta, and LinkedIn manage to create an amazing remote work culture and retain their employees for upwards of four, six, or even 10 years in some cases? Today, I'm gonna to give you six team building activity ideas that some of the most successful companies are using to increase communication, trust, and that won't make your employees cringe. And the best part is you can start implementing them today. My name is Cassie. I'm one of the co-founders and the CEO at Hopier. We make it incredibly easy to send prepaid visa cards and gift cards to employees in 60 plus countries. And I've got my own remote team, so I know exactly where you're at and what you're trying to achieve by setting up virtual team building activities that actually improve your remote team culture. What's one of the most popular hobbies in the world? You guessed it, listening to music. Everyone does it. Music brings people together from all over the world. And so setting up musical trivia is something that you can do that's gonna be engaging and fun for everybody and also create a little bit of a competitive environment and keeps your remote employees interested and engaged regardless of where they are. Yeah, picture your team having to fill in the blanks for a song like Gangnam Style and guess the lyrics or having to hum the tune to Bohemian Rhapsody. This is a really fun way for everybody from around the world to engage. Everyone loves music. We did this at our own company and it was really fun to see the different songs and tastes that people have and also for people to have a little bit of a competition. And we actually offered a prize to the winning team. And this is something you can do too, just by offering a simple gift card or voucher that the winners get and actually increase the engagement and the competitiveness. This is something that people end up talking about for the rest of the week at the office. It's something that is going to bring your remote team together because music is something that brings the world together. If you wanna learn more on remote employee engagement, make sure to subscribe down below. But if music's not for you and you want something with a little more competition, here's something specifically for you. Try a virtual scavenger hunt or office Olympics to get people a little bit more competitive and get them moving. Picture your team scrambling to find items or doing a typing race. Imagine asking people to go and fetch their favorite book, their favorite mug, or maybe a view from their window, a screwdriver, a spatula, or a childhood photo. These are all things that will bring the team together and improve team communication and trust. Just like in the office where Michael Scott creates his own version of the Olympics, you can also play your own version of Pam Pong, where Angela counts the number of times that Pam goes to Jim's desk. You can count the number of times you get Slack message by your supervisor. These are all different things that you can do, whether you're doing a virtual scavenger hunt or Olympics. What about something for the creative and artsy types who don't wanna run around and look for full coffee mugs. Here's something for them that's gonna get their creative juices flowing and something that's gonna bring out the creativity in anyone on your remote team. Your team aren't just worker bees. They have creative ideas and thoughts that they wanna share, but sometimes working in the same place at home can be a little bit dull. 75% of people feel like they're not living up to their creative potential. Did you know Google has a program called the 20% Project? which is a project that allows people at work to spend 20% of their time working on different creative ideas that are not related to their work. So here's something to get the creative juices flowing. Improv and craft challenges. Two things that you can do to get those creative juices flowing and get people excited about using their other side of their brain that they may not use on a day-to-day -day basis. This is something that can bring out creative brainstorming and solutions to problems that you may have in other parts of your business. This is a great way to get your team laughing and learning while also getting those creative juices flowing and making memories that actually build team communication and trust with one another. What about those people who care a lot about health and wellness or that just can't sit still? I'm actually one of those people. I need to get outside. I need to move from my desk. I can't be sitting down eight hours a day. I need to get moving. And I'm sure you have people on your team that are just like me. So what can you do for them? Well, here are a couple ideas. You could do something like yoga or a meditation session. What about getting people outside and doing a scavenger hunt while they're on a call, but actually outside in nature or outside finding things? What about doing an online fitness class or hiring someone to do an early morning yoga session with you? There's all kinds of ideas that you can do related to health and wellness that make people more active and even get them outside. You could even ask people to go and 
take a hike, literally. And you can ask them to get it moving and to take a picture of their hike that they do. It's hard when you're working eight hours a day from a desk at home and not moving from your seat. So getting people active is something that can really promote an active and healthy workplace. You could even set something up like a team steps challenge or a team fitness challenge that groups people into different groups and gets them moving and active as a team and creates a sort of competition to get people excited. So let's recap the six team building activity ideas that I've shared today. Number one, you've got virtual musical trivia. This is something that's gonna get everyone excited because music's something that brings the world together. Number two and three, you've got games like scavenger hunts and office Olympics that get people moving. Ideas four and five, you've got creative activities like craft challenges and improv. And then idea six, you've got health and wellness challenges and games and ideas that you can run like meditation sessions, yoga challenges, taking a hike, literally, or different ideas that get people moving and active. The benefits of these activities are improved communication, increased team cohesion, and better team morale. And as a CEO at a remote company, I know that these ideas aren't going to change your company overnight, but they're little things that you can do to improve your team morale, communication, and increase employee happiness, which at the end of the day is going to make your company more productive and allow you to achieve your business goals. Looking for other ways to keep your employees engaged and excited about remote work? Check out hopier.com and subscribe for all kinds of tips about remote work engagement and to learn more about what you can do as a leader of your own remote team. Thanks for watching. And if you have ideas of things that you do at your own company, please share them below so that other leaders of remote teams can learn from you. I'm Cassie Ait, co-founder and CEO at Hopier, and I'll see you in the next video.